Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, say it with me, you got here just in time. That's right, it is Friday, and that means it's time for another edition of Friday's Finds. We have a few interesting things. You know, one of the biggest concerns when you're traveling in your motor home is where are you gonna dump? Now, if you're traveling across West Texas between Junction and El Paso, there's not really any place to dump your tanks. Not really. But if you have a macerator, you don't really need a dump station. All you need is a toilet or a vault or something like that, and you can clean out your tank. <laughs> Well, my RV didn't come with a macerator. Installing an aftermarket is rather pricey. But Risto, you remember Risto? They're a returning sponsor. They sent us that water pump that I put in the motorhome. Risto has provided us with an RV macerator pump. So you don't have to have a factory installed macerator pump. We can do it after the fact. Let's take a look, see what's in this, this here box. So we have a carry bag. That'll come in most handy. We have power cord. We have a macerator pump itself. An adapter, power adapter. We have some, some hose kind of stuff. Looks like I got, I got a little assembly, some assembly required going on. But see, this hooks on to your, your outflow, your, your dump port. Let me connect that. Put that on there, and then we put that. Oop. So let me... Let me figure out how this is all going to work with Trudy, and we'll be back. Let's look at the next box. So the next package comes to us from Ovadicia. Ovadicia. It's a dual camera dash cam. I can tell you from personal experience, you want to have a dash cam. When I had a, had a first time driver impact the door on my truck. I sent the father's insurance company the little clip from my dash cam and they said, yep, we own this one. No question, no question about it. We own this one. So they fixed my truck. All right. It's an 8K. Oh, that's a nice size. 8K. Man, I, I, 8K comes with a 32 gig SD card. We have power supply. And we have the rear camera. All right, so I'm gonna go hook this up in Yappy's car. I like that the SD card's easy to get to. Let me go. Let me go do some work and I'll be back. I got the dash cam installed. Now, we already had one on here, but it, I don't know, it was telling me, format the SD card all the day. Every time you start the car, format the SD card. Pretty much just swapped it out. I use the same mount point for the little camera. Now this does have a, a backup camera function. You have to connect to the backup light if you want it to, operate like a backup camera since she already has that we, i didn't mess with it so it's right behind her mirror what's really convenient so we have a an app we have to go in and anytime you're going to connect to these cameras you, you've got to connect to the wi-fi network one one thing that I'm not really excited that, I, and it's probably user error, I've yet to figure out how to load the 
the rear camera view on the app but we can get so I need to do some driving and get some footage I like this camera I'm downloading the files right now uh, it is it's very user friendly it's not like some of them where you're having to sort it all out this is a great little camera That's a pretty clear picture. Now we're gonna go and work on that macerator pump. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We're hanging out with mom. I've been here several days and my tanks are getting full. There's no place here handy where I can get close enough with this RV to dump them. The RV macerator pump to the rescue. Now, Let's walk around to the other side of the RV. If you're using this RV macerator pump, you it's DC. It's 12 volt. And here's my problem. This is the power cord that came with it. I have no battery anywhere. Closest battery. Closest 12 volt is right here what what's a guy to do uh, i went on amazon went shopping hold on let me, let me sit you down and we'll take a look this is the kunkan 20 foot 14 gauge extension cord Big heavy cord can handle lots of load. So now we can connect it. Let me get it set up and put it with just a little bit longer than necessary. But I have I have some other 12 volt things that this long cord will come in handy for. But now Now the switch is a little closer to where we're set up. We are connected. The only, only thing I'm not really excited about with this setup, and it has nothing to do, has nothing to do with the macerator pump. It's just the way we're configured here, where it goes out straight down. I can't really see without getting down here i can't see my clear tube so i have that connected to 
a heavy three quarter inch hose here. I'll show you where we're going. The RV is on the other side of the building. And we have a sewer clean out right there. Now we just need to see it pumping black water. We need to see it pumping poo. That's what we need to do. We need to see it pumping poo. That's what we got to do. black tank is all empty that pump is a bomb man that's great i don't have to go looking for dump stations anymore <laughs> i just need a, a sewer clean out a toilet i'm good to go all right next after a long winter night of inclement weather don't you just hate coming outside to find the windshield on your car just totally iced over and you gotta scrape and try to thaw it and pour water on it. All that fun stuff. Vic Topper, they're a returning sponsor. We've seen some of their products before. The Vic Topper store on Amazon. They got a solution to that problem. Let's check it out. The waterproof windshield protector from Vic Topper protects you from rain, ice, and snow. Absolutely. I like this thing. It is waterproof, windproof. So you have a cover for your side windows as well as your mirror. It's wind resistant. You can strap that thing down nice and tight. Both mirrors, both windows. When the inclement weather hits, Vic Topper has got your windshield protected. It's even got a, a you know, it's not gonna stop great big hailstones, but it will definitely give you some protection from the, probably up to a golf ball size. I like that. Yappy's going Yappy's going to lay claim to it, I know, because she's not going to have a garage for too very much longer. The Vic Topper windshield cover. That is one heck of a value right there. Okay. We got one more product to talk about. One more big product. We have another returning sponsor. You remember Golden Mate? couple videos back uh more than a couple been a while back when i did the switch the rv over to lithium golden mate sponsored that video they want you to know they're still around they still have great batteries so if you've been 
thinking about getting a lithium battery. Now might be the time. This box is hard to get into. <laughs> Twelve point eight volt, hundred amp hour Life Po Four. Life Po Four is the better lithium. You get more charge cycles out of it, and the chemistry is more stable. It's not as prone to overheating. It actually they don't heat, overheat at all. Let's take a look at what's in the box. Very well packaged. You can get over 12,000, 12,000 recharge cycles. Comes with a user manual. These are, these are smart batteries. They've got a, a, bat, a BMS, a smart BMS that will prevent it from charging when it's too hot or when it's too cold. And it balances the whole system out. I tell you how to connect your batteries in series or in parallel. So if you have a 24 volt system and you need 24 volts of power, you take two of these and they're a, they're so affordable you can buy three of these for the price of some of those other uh, batteries. 12.8 volt, 100 amp power. Charges at 14.4 volts. So you're gonna to wanna to have a lithium specific charger. You can charge this with solar power, MPPT. Great for any application. You wanna go fishing and you've got depth finders and trolling motors, the Golden Mate battery will do it. So safe for longer life, cause it's a life po four. You have an RV, you wanna go do some boondocking? I'd show you my RV. I put a life, I put a Golden Mate battery in there. Worked perfect. You know, one of my favorite things about the Golden Mate Life, Life Po 4 battery, you can mount them in any way or fashion, however you need them. And you don't have to worry about stuff leaking out. Now that's really handy. My next venture into solar power, I'm not sure when it will be. So y'all don't hold me to this, but, but I, I would really like to put a rack on the topper of the truck and install the Golden Mate battery in the back of the truck so that I can run. Believe it or not, I do a lot of truck camping. Right now, I'm running that off the pickup battery my big my big portable refrigerator with one of these i would be able to run that for probably two days three days with two of them i'd have a week's worth of power so these are awesome batteries can't and i cannot say enough good things about golden mate battery that brings us to the end of this edition of friday's finds kind of all over the literally all over the place <laughs> down at mom's out at the land lots of different places in this video you remember so that macerator pump you remember i was talking about not having a battery you remember that fuel transfer pump 12 volts it needs a battery <laughs> i was actually using a golden mate battery to operate that transfer pump when i did that video if you're looking for a lithium ion battery for your RV boat, or, or if you're doing a van build out, a schoolie build out, off grid cabin, you gotta have battery storage. LifePo 4 is the way to go. Golden mate. We have reached the end of this edition of Friday's Fives. We were all over the place with products and locations. If you're still with me at this point, 
Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All of these products can be found on Amazon. I will provide you with a link in the card above and in the description below. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear recommendation page. Your business is most appreciated. I'd like to give a special shout out of thanks to the vendors who sponsored this video. I couldn't do it without them. So I'd appreciate it if you'd show them a little love too by clicking on that link and just explore their products on Amazon. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button. That really helps with that YouTube algorithm. For those of you who have been following along, thank you. That's why I get to do what I do. I, would, I couldn't do it without you. And for our patrons, I am most grateful for your generosity. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?